Okay, so let's get started. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are. Uh, welcome everyone to our online webinar from Stimulsoft Company, uh, which is called 2021 Summary uh, 2022 Roadmap. <clears throat> Uh, today, we will explore and show you the functionality that we already implemented in our product. And we'll look into the future and show you the roadmap, um, the functionality and pro program uh, products and we, we are going to release in uh, 2022. <clears throat> uh, let me first introduce myself. I'm Andrew, and I'm from Stimulsoft, and uh, I'm a business manager. Uh, today we'll be re responsible for moderation of this presentation and in a short break between session one and session two, uh, I will uh, uh, give you some words about, uh, about licensing, about frequently asked questions. Uh, hope this will be helpful. So how we built our presentation today. Uh, the first, uh, we will uh, divide it in three steps. Uh, this will take around one hour. Uh, the first step will be uh, a summary of uh, uh, 2021 summary, what we uh, implemented in, in, in the last year. Uh, between the session one and session two, I will have a short uh, uh, description of uh, licensing questions, licensing issues. Then uh, uh, you will see uh, the roadmap, what we're going to release in 2022. And the third session will be questions and answers. You may leave questions and answers right now on the bottom of your Zoom um, of your Zoom window, you may find uh, you may find the Q and A button. Just click it and put your questions. Uh, after the section two and section session two, session one and session two, sorry, uh, ends. Alexei will answer some of the questions. So let me introduce uh, let me introduce Alexei. He will be the main speaker today. He will uh, be a presenter and show you show you our tool and show you all technical aspects that we have prepared today. So Alexei, if you're ready, you may take the floor. Yeah, thank you, Andrew, for the introduction. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us today. I'm very glad to see all of you. Uh, and I see many familiar names uh, who I worked with, with before. So uh, now I, I will talk a little about um, our new features, products, components uh, that we um, implemented uh, last year. Uh, you can see a list. Uh, of these features like right here. Okay, let's go through them. Uh, uh, we have added uh, one a product, new product, uh -oh. yeah, even two products. Uh, the first, uh, it's a really new uh, and um, product, um, uh, repose.blazer. Uh, it's a completely new technology, and uh, it was very hard to create this product. There, there are there there is a lot of um, limitations in this tool, so we had troubles with adding uh, support of SQL uh, database connections, uh, and uh, we have added uh, uh, them to client server version of Blazor. And now we um, thinking in ways so to solve the issue with connecting SQL databases and WebAssembly version of Blazor. So it's a new product. We are 
working, we continue um, adding new features and implementing implementing features that uh, are already available in uh, other uh, two products. Uh, and uh, this tool, uh, it's not a separate tool, it's included in uh, the reports.web product. So as you see here on this um, <clears throat> slide, uh, the reports Blazor and reports Angular uh, product, they are joined into one uh, product uh, reports.web. So if you need any of them, you should buy reports.web. Next, we have added uh, also um, one new product to dashboards product line. It's dashboards.php. Uh, it's not really a new product. It's uh, mm, use the same JavaScript engine. So uh, the agent, uh, the engine is the same as uh, in dashboard dashboard JS, uh, uh, and uh, it works um, <coughs> in the same way. Uh, it works the same way, and uh, uh, just with some additional part uh, and additional coding overlapping uh, of the JavaScript engine for PHP. Oh, next, uh, we have added four new database adapters. Uh, they were added to .NET engine first. Unfortunately, they are not available in JS and Java. Um, it's, uh, you can see them here, but uh, we have good news for users of our PHP products. Uh, we have added support of PDO in PHP products, reports, uh, PHP and dashboards, PHP. So you can use uh, this like driver to connect to different databases from PHP. Okay, next, uh, Blockly. Uh, Blockly uh, was created by Google and uh, we, um, we got some questions from our customers uh, about using the same report in different uh, in in our the same report in different products. Uh, for example, some of our customers uh, create reports in in the standalone designer, and then uh, try to run it in on on web in a JavaScript engine uh, because of some limitations. Um, uh, it was impossible to run reports where report events were used. So if you have any code in any event in your report, you're using compilation, and it's impossible to run this in JavaScript. Or it's possible if you change this code. And now you can write, uh, replace your code with uh, Blockly. Maybe uh, I will try to show you something. Let's just create a simple variable. It's just a dummy sample to show how it works. Uh, and maybe some user ask how to start from a specific number. Okay, let's add a data band. Come data. Then. Okay, now. Uh, if we open this report. Mm -hmm. this, uh, we see just zeros. Uh, for example, I, I want to increase by two uh, uh, this variable uh, on each band. 
I go to the events before print event of the data band. Yeah. Put here set variable. Then we get the same value from the variable and that. like this. It's very easy to use uh, it's, uh, this uh, tool. Now, when we go to preview, you see we can change uh, this number and get at least box. Yeah, now uh, I save this report and open it in our JavaScript. You can see JS version open. We can go to the data band, open uh, this event. We see the same picture here in the standalone JavaScript designer. And when we go to the preview, it works without any changes. So uh, this uh, feature helped us to um, make our uh, products more flexible and uh, we have made possible to use uh, reports from these events in different uh, with our different engines and technologies. Okay, let's go forward. Another feature it's uh, uh, ability to add uh, several views to one to one uh, chart. Uh, it can be com completely different views with completely different data. Let's do it. So I am adding our demo database. Create a dashboard. Let's put um, okay. Let's take uh, units in stock and show number of units in stock for each category like this. Okay. okay. Oops. Now, uh, this is on the view one. Now we can uh, add another view here and we can put here any other information. I don't know. Or just count uh, by country. So we can see a number of orders for, for, for different countries. It's another view. Uh, we can duplicate the current view and change it. I don't know. At maybe. Replace all the view with freight like this. Oops, sorry. 
something. So I'm afraid. So ship country. Okay. And we can go to the preview. Right here we have just one chart, but we can switch between different views. We can put some additional information like name of the chart, uh, add additional labels to understand which one we see right now. Uh, we can change type of the chart here. So you can see different icons. No, it's a better idea to no, it's okay. And you can see another new chart feature. It's a new type of chart. It's a 3D uh, pie, uh, pie chart here. So this is how it works. Okay, let's go back. Now, so I have just shown you uh, the 3D pie chart. It's a new type of chart in our tool that was added last year. Uh, this year, new charts will be added too. Uh, Next, uh, you have made a uh, work of um, uh, integrating our tool and uh, adapting our tool to uh, Windows 11. So we have changed some icons, uh, windows, and uh, and we continue working on the, in this direction. So our, our tool works on Windows 11 and uh, we check uh, on every update there. Next, uh, math formulas. It's a new component that was added in our tool. Uh, two components were added last year. One of them, it's, uh, oops, sorry. One of them is, uh, uh, okay. Uh, one of them is uh, math formula and another one is table of contents. Uh, let me show you them. Again, our demo database, categories, products. And some data here. So uh, we are adding a group header. I want to group my category. So uh, now I, I'm creating a report with products uh, grouped by category. Each category will be shown on a separate uh, page. And then I'll show you how to create table of content for this report. OK, 
Okay, we have report. Should use new page before property to create new page for for each group. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now let's add table of contents. I think it's better to add it on separate page. Put it before. And I want to show here just uh, categories names. You can see it's taken automatically from this text component on the, that I have selected right now. And when I go to the preview, we see table of content with uh, right page numbers and names of them. of the categories. Mm -hmm. Okay, and another new component, it's math purple. Uh, so um, the table of contents, uh, component now available on different platforms on JavaScript too. And uh, the math formula is added just for net, uh, .NET family. Uh, there is a, a little complicated uh, editor. Uh, you can use LaTeX um, format to write formulas or um, combine them from this, I don't know. And you can see the result here. You can create many different formulas. If you need to add formula, you can easily add them to our tool. Uh, another um, important feature that uh, was added uh, last year and um, it's, uh, it was missed by many of our customers, it's scheduler. Scheduler feature that was added to the standalone designer. So now, uh, if you are using the standalone designer, you can uh, create scheduler for your reports. Uh, we are using Windows task scheduler for this feature. For example, uh, okay, let's, let's take this report. Oh. Save it. Uh, okay, we can generate report daily at exact time, at the same time, uh, just once. There are some additional settings that you can use. And actions, for example, I want to save um, the report to PDF and this name should contain current date in a specific format like this. But so, so each day this report will be generated. And uh, okay, I didn't select destination documents. Okay. And in the documents folder, uh, the report will be saved in PDF format uh, with this name. Uh, it's possible to add several actions here one scheduler. Uh, you can find your schedulers here. You can run it. View, remove, edit, delete. 
Let me see the history. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that's all for the first part of our webinar. So, Andrew, I return to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's let's have a little break, Lexi. Uh, so, one sec. So, hope you hope you enjoy all this. Thank you very much, Lexi, again. Okay, uh, I uh, now I see only two questions. So please be active uh, and ask your ask technical questions if you want to know something. Uh, the first question and the most frequently asked question was now: uh, Will we, will we are we rec are we recording this video? Yes, we're recording it and we'll share this with uh, with everyone. So don't worry about that. And uh, the second question was, uh, where may I find samples and user manuals to our tools? So uh, <clears throat> on our website, stimulsoft.com, uh, you may go to the bottom of our website and find the help center section. It includes all necessary information uh, starting from downloads, how to download and where to download our tool, and ending with uh, even training courses. So it includes samples, documentation, YouTube videos, uh, our li uh, links to, to our blog, uh, news and articles. So just go to the bottom of our website and find the help center section. Okay, so uh, give me, let me give you some words about our licensing questions. We, I, we, have, uh, we have two very frequently asked questions about uh, who needs the license. That's the first question. And my answer is that uh, license need only the developers of uh, your application. Clients of your application don't need license. Our product is royalty free. Uh, under developer, we, um, we mean a person who has access to Stimulsoft assemblies, files, or scripts, and uses them in the development of, uh, of your application or applications. Uh, also, under, de under developer, we mean a person who uh, create reports in a standalone desktop designer. So if you have someone in your company uh, who uh, works with, uh, with coding, he's a developer and he works with our tool, he needs a license. But sometimes uh, you, need, uh, you need someone to design reports in the desktop designer. So when under the desktop designer, we mean the uh, .exe file, uh, stimulsoft designer.exe. So if you install it on, uh, on someone's PC, uh, he or she also needs the license. Uh, the developer may install two copies of the standalone or desktop designer. And the second very important questions, question is about office location. What we mean under office location? Uh, under uh, office location, we mean a physical address. It's location on, in your city somewhere. It's your postal address, a postal address of your organization. Uh, so you need to, to, to see if they work together they they need they need license if if they work separately they need separate licenses but we understand that uh, <clears throat> uh, due to the pandemic uh, most of developers may work remotely and uh, work at their homes we understand this and we accept if they are supposed to work in one office or in one building uh you may buy uh you may buy license for them not separate single licenses 
but team license or uh, site license or worldwide oh yeah worldwide license is not about this yeah so team or site license <clears throat> Single license is for one developer, team license is for four developers, site license is for unlimited developers in one office location. Uh, and it doesn't mean, office location doesn't mean that your, uh, that your application should host somewhere, or say on, on one server, for example. No, it only means uh, where your developers work. So, I hope this is clear. If you have any questions about this, I will I will answer them later. Alexei, you may you may start the part two. It's 2022 roadmap. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Andrew. <clears throat> I'm reading your new questions and uh, I will answer part of these questions after the second part of my presentation. So now um, our roadmap. Uh, our roadmap uh, usually um, uh, is, creating, uh, is created based on a request of our customers and uh, based on uh, what we see uh, on the market and uh, uh, what uh, our customer asks for. So um, for now, uh, we, now we are working on one uh, new, completely new product. I will talk about it a little later. And uh, we are continue adding uh, new components to our tool that simplify using it and uh, different other uh, features. Okay, let's go through them. Uh, uh, you can see uh, the QR codes. QR codes it's, uh, uh, became uh, uh, very popular and uh, you can see them everywhere. Some of our customer asks for customization of QR codes. So adding images, the images now can be added to QR codes on our tool. And um, now uh, we have added uh, this uh, customization like changing colors, forms of QR code. And you can try to scan any of this QR code. Uh, it, uh, all of them works. Uh, next. Uh, we have we are working on a new type of uh, chart. It's a pictorial stack chart. It's almost ready and will be available in our next uh, major build in March. Uh, you can see it uh, on your screen how it will look like. It's based like on uh, an icon uh, and. Uh, information will staked inside this icon in different colors with labels. Uh, next, uh, we are working on a new component for dashboards, it's button. So you can uh, make different things with this button. Uh, and uh, also you, you will get uh, radio buttons and uh, uh, check check buttons them yeah sorry so um, they will be all available later on in our in in the dashboards mm, and that's all that I can tell you about this component on this moment uh, the cards, uh, it's a new component again for the dashboards. So it's a way to present information. Uh, uh, so if, if you need to show some information like, like the, here with cards um, from, so it's like a replace of the table component. Uh, 
but uh, shows data in a different way. And you can um, select what, what kind of information you want to show on these cards. And, uh, and how many rows, columns of the cards you want to see on your dashboard. And then you get this, something like this. Uh, again, we are still working and uh, this component will be released soon. Uh, we have some additional uh, features. Uh, it's nothing to show for now, uh, but I, I should talk about them. Uh, we, um, we plan to completely rework our um, standalone designer um, for macOS. Uh, it's uh, completely new. It will be completely new with support of uh, copy paste features and uh, you can uh, drag and drop files in this. Uh, you will be able to drag and drop files inside uh, the designer and so on. So we are planning to make it uh, more usable on macOS. Uh, Web P, uh, we plan to replace um, our icons. As you know, uh, our JavaScript engine is uh, too heavy. Uh, the scripts are very large and we are <clears throat> trying to make it smaller, different ways. Uh, <clears throat> we created uh, pack files. Uh, we uh, split uh, engine to, into different parts. So you can find now a chart engine separately and you don't uh, uh, need to load it um, if you don't use uh, charts in your reports uh, and some other features. So we are trying to make uh, the script smaller and uh, make our tool faster. And now we are um, thinking and walking in the direction of replacing uh, images in our tool that uh, are in PNG format uh, and replace them to a WebP format. Uh, they will be supported on all popular browser for now. And, and uh, so, uh, this feature can make uh, uh, our tool significantly faster and lighter. Uh, next, viewer customization. Uh, maybe you saw that um, the viewer uh, of uh, the dashboards, it's um, a little significant more, uh, not a little, it's completely different and uh, more responsive and uh, dashboard viewer can change its style depend on the style of the dashboard. Uh, we plan to walk our report viewer, um, make uh, to make easier to cost the customization of the viewer and uh, uh, make it. Uh, Okay. Sorry. Um, so make it prettier, and this uh, viewer should be uh, should be able to uh, change its theme uh, based on the content, based on the report that you show in this report viewer, and uh, maybe based on the environment where you use this uh, viewer. Also, we plan to add dark theme to our tool um, and report theme. It's uh, about, I talked about this, like uh, theme of the viewer will be the same as theme of the, of the report. And uh, SimulSoft forms. Mm. Our 
team, uh, part of our team is working uh, on these two for a long time. Uh, now, uh, this tool it's, uh, will be ready and, um, and this year. Uh, for now, we can just uh, describe it and show screenshots like this, uh, the forms. Uh, uh, we, we are creating an editor uh, for PDF forms. And now a tool, uh, it will be easier to create, very easy to create uh, PDF forms uh, to show some data in it, to edit data. And then uh, you will be able to get PDF files <laughs> from these forms. Uh, we are integrating our, this, uh, this two product um, into our um, infrastructure. Uh, so uh, the standalone designer uh, will be able to create the forms as well, uh, like reports and dashboards, but the form that's completely different and completely new for us, uh, completely new product for us. Uh, so this is all. Thank you for listening. Now uh, we can go back to your questions. Yeah, thank you, Alexi, mm -hmm. for amazing presentation. Okay, please have a little break. I will answer questions I can answer. Uh, a very good question from John O'Brien. Uh, are you planning to run any seminars on, on tips, tricks, and techniques for Stimosoft? This is a very great idea. And uh, I will ask my team, I will discuss this after the webinar. And uh, I suppose this may be our next webinar. So uh, it, it's a very good idea because many, many of our, many of users of our tool uh don't even understand, don't even know some hints how to to make their their life and their report design easier so thank you it's very good it's a very good idea a very good suggestion uh the next question is from mehmed saikara uh greeting i'm a software developer living in turkey uh, and uh, he asks about, uh, since the USD and TRY parity is high, I cannot buy your product. And how can you be helpful? Uh, Matt, uh, may you send your question, may you send this message to info at stimosov.com. We will discuss this privately. How can we be helpful? Well, so next question is from Yulia. Hello, thanks for presentation. I have a question. How often are new versions of the product released? Are versions released with bug fixes or will bugs wait for big product changes? Uh, uh, literally in, I suppose, my, uh, in two, two, three days, we will release the, uh, the minor version with fixes. Uh, we usually have three or four major releases and uh, around 10 minor releases between them. Uh, minor releases uh, include uh, bug fixes, um, bug fixes and uh, minor updates. And major releases include uh, includes major updates and bug fixes as well. Uh, Alexei, uh, let's see, I will, let me see what you know, the question for you. Yeah, so let's start with Dario. Uh, data source for BigQuery, is it available for, for GS reports and dashboard and scheduler, is it available for Linux system? Uh. Unfortunately, no. Uh, BigQuery data adapter was added just for .NET version of our tool. Uh, scheduler, uh, at this moment, Scheduler works on a standalone designer that uh, can be run on, on Windows system only, and uh, it uses uh, 
Windows uh, scheduler uh, system. Uh, and uh, at this moment, we don't uh, have any plans of developing the scheduler for Linux system. Uh, but I, I, I know that it's very easy to using to, to, to create schedule on Linux using cron tab to run um, um, an application that to generate a report and export it. So it's, you can create small uh, app that will generate report uh, as you need and uh, you can run it manually or you, you use using cron tab. Okay. Thank you. The next, the next question from Giorgio Radovanovic. Is it possible to design table inside report field? Sorry, your report, oh, your question is not clear. Giorgio, uh, uh, you may you may send this question with um, with more elaborate description to support at simosau.com, and I suppose we'll help you. Uh, the next question is from Azam Hon. Uh, do you have any plans to upgrade to .NET 6 support for Blazor WebASM, uh, WebASM report? Do you know something about this or? As I know, um, uh, our Blazor 2 works on uh, .NET 6. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, oh, mm -hmm. oh, no, sorry, one moment. No, no, yeah. Uh, uh, we, we, we plan to to upgrade it to .NET 6. Uh, at, at this moment, it works on .NET 5. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the next question from Sergey. Uh, are you planning to implement uh, a ribbon chart in dashboards like in Microsoft Power BI? Uh, my question is, uh, I have. I, I don't know this information now, but you may um, send uh, email to support at stimulsoft.com uh, as a feature request, and we will consider this. We'll check this if it's uh, if it's uh, very important functionality. We will consider adding them in 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 our recent or nearest releases. Okay, so a uh, question from staff. What is Radio Buttons? What does it do? Um, yeah, radio button Buttons, uh, it's uh, a way to select something. And uh, yeah, they work uh, like typical radio buttons. So you, you will be able to, to, to select any or one, one of uh, proposed values from, from the list. And then after clicking on, uh, uh, on the button, you can do different things. So uh, it's, uh, we will provide uh, samples uh, of how it works when this feature will be released. Mm. Okay, thank you. Uh, the next question from Kalenda Hisir. Do you see this, uh, Alexei? Mm -hmm. There are currently no types for TypeScript, Angular, and SteamSoft reports, GS. What that, will that ever happen? Oh, it's better send this question to our support team. Mm 
like so here. Uh, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. and okay. the question it's about uh, TypeScript uh, issues with uh, report JS uh, and DTS files. Um, I, I'm not ready. I, I know that we already got this question uh, on support service and uh, our developers are working on this. Uh, a, if it was not you, please repeat your request by, or send this uh, message by request and we will answer you too. If you already asked us on support, we will answer you when we get any result. So thanks. Okay, thank you, Alexei. Uh, the next question from, from Dmitry. Uh, is there any plans about the realization of tree shaking in HTML view of a web application? I suppose uh, you, you should also send this question to support at uh, We will all, um, our team will also consider this. We'll check everything if it's possible to do. Eliseo Cordero, great job and thanks for the presentation. Thank you, Eliseo. Uh, the next question from John Williams. Uh, the problem I have is getting the data from a form to be backend to the backend database. Will the new form product make that simpler? Let's see, do you know something mm -hmm. about yeah. this? Mm, I, uh, at this moment, uh, all tools that we have uh, mm, just show information uh, from the database and uh, you can, uh, there is no um, built-in features uh, that will record any information to your database. Uh, but we are considering this uh, feature and uh, possibility to um make possible um fill the form and pull this information to the database yeah if if you need to to get the information using for our new product forms yeah i think it's uh, something that you you need yeah. okay thank you the next question from walter um, is there a package to buy dashboard PHP and reports PHP and test them before buy? Uh, yes, you may download uh, uh, dashboards PHP and reports PHP tool uh, from our website uh, in the, on the web page downloads. Uh, and I want to say that dashboards and reports are different, are separate products and need uh, separate licenses. So you should buy them separately. Uh, we don't have a bundle of dashboards uh, and reports PHP. Uh, a good question from A. Bazo. Uh, in the last version, 2022.1.5, uh, the create new form option of the design appears is obsolete. What this mean? I have a lot of templates with these forms. Lexi, do you know something about this uh, problem or about this issue? Mm. No, sorry. Uh, I know that uh, we were removing old forms from our tool and uh, they are not supported in uh, all different, on, in all our products. Mm. So I, I need more information from you. And wh when did you use uh, uh, the forms, uh, the version where they walked? Uh, and uh, yeah, like this. And uh, the, the, the product and how, how do you run our tool and where? Uh, if you send this information to support, or we will be, we will be able to help you. 
Hmm. But so. Yeah. Uh, looks like Dmitry answered you. I don't know exactly, but it seems that GS Viewer use Canvas for painting charts. Is there any plans to migrate to WebGL engine? Mm, no, at, at this moment, no, we don't have such plans. Uh, the charts uh, shown uh, in SVG format, uh, they are animated. Uh, we have this way to show the charts and didn't uh, get any request to change this. No, no, we, we have no, we don't have such plans. Okay, so it looks but, like. But uh, if uh -huh. you think that uh, our tool uh, may, may we, we, we can make our tool uh, faster or maybe we can make our tool better if we go to web gel. Um, you can ask, uh, send us a request, and we will discuss this with our with our team. Thank you, Dmitry. Okay, thank you, Alexei. It seems we we answered almost all questions today. Uh, thank you again, Alexei, for answering those questions for answering those questions and for the great presentation. Uh, it was. Uh, Welcome. And thank it you for joining on us. Yeah, so our webinar is going webinar. to end now. Uh, thanks you all for attending. Uh, we hope, uh, we hope uh, you have learned and enjoyed this presentation. If you have any questions regarding licensing, regarding uh, technical uh, issues, uh, technical approaches, etc., please send them to sales at stimosoft.com or support at stimosoft.com we are ready to answer and ready to see and uh, we, we are glad to see you again in our next webinar that we supposed will 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 be shortly uh, maybe you have an interesting topic for next webinar maybe you uh, yeah, so I suppose, uh, I suppose John O'Brien uh, offered a very good, a very good talk, a very good mm -hmm. uh, idea for the webinar. Tips and hints, tips and tricks. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, thank you all again, and yeah. and have a nice day.